Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video from the world. The world. Oh wait, sorry, what? You mean the camera's not on my face? Oh, we'll, we'll just fix that up. Alright guys, welcome back to another video from the... This isn't a new world. This isn't a world we know, is it? I've stuffed everything up, haven't I? Yes, I have. And you know why, guys? Because this is a brand new series. This is a series that we're going to be doing. It's going to be awesome. And basically, we're going to be making the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm not meaning like the world is in like a world of our own. We're going to make custom vines and all that. No, I'm talking about making the actual world. What I'm... Let, let me just run you through a bit of what I'm, I'm thinking, just out loud. Basically, we've been doing Time Lapse City before. We've done Time Lapse City before. We've tried coming up with an idea for a city, and that hasn't really worked out too well. Um, and, by the way, yes, you may notice I have no skin right now. I am all fine, but, and, well, stuff hasn't really worked out well with the skins when you're offline. But anyway, back to the main topic. Um, so, yeah, we have been doing Time Lapse City before now. And it hasn't really worked out before. And I've been thinking, I'm wondering whether that's because we don't have a template to go off. You see, I'm not that great at building stuff, like coming up with stuff on my own. And that's probably obvious in most of the things. Hello, Mr. Chicken. You're you're ruining the shot. I, I, I apologize for that, guys. These animals seem to be running a mark behind me. Um, anyway, guys. So, yeah, I haven't been much of a good having much of a good job taking care of animals and yeah I thought we'd have a world full of animals no I'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm just being stupid well not stupid silly anyway guys so um yeah I, I've had kind of an idea that I want to keep doing a time lapse thing and I was thinking about what I wanted to do and I thought why don't we take a different like different path and do something that's already there something that nobody else has done as far as I know this is going to be a long-term project don't worry um, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating the world now we're not just going to be doing this in Minecraft we're going to be using a few programs what um, we're going to be using World Painter which is a really good paint like a really really good um, program you can see a bit of the, its work behind us I did an example just for you guys to see and let's have a look at that now shall we so yeah basically it turned this flat area into a nice hill and it can also be used the other way to bring things down into a nice little valley or such and we can change the, the height we can make it so that it's not bedrock below um, the animals seem to be kind of happy on there. I don't know why. But yeah, basically we can do all this stuff. We can make water. We can do pretty much anything you want to do um, to make things look natural. And I thought that would be a good place to start with our creation ideas. We are going to also be using MC Edit, and this is going to be just to try and get an overview of what we're going to be doing. I'm thinking I might also put up some sort of maybe you maybe we're going to be using Dynamap, Dynamap, and I'll be putting it up somewhere where you guys can check it out and see how things are going and stuff. I'm got a few ideas for that, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, so yeah. We also are going to be using in Minecraft as well, of course, to get all the detail in. And we're going to be using a few tools in Minecraft itself. First off, we have disabled game game like the daylight cycle, so we can work always in daytime and not worry about mobs, minus the slimes and stuff. We're also going to be using a plugin called World Edit. Now, World Edit lets you just basically make basic shapes, copy things, transform things, rotate things. Stuff like that, very easy stuff to do, but it makes it a lot simpler than it would be if you had to physically go in and rotate things and stuff. And basically, it, it just makes things easier. 
Um, now there are going to be a few other ones, like we're going to have clear lag just so we can kill the mobs instantly. I don't have that all set up now, so we currently we just have to do kale add in to T. And then like type equals chicken. And we can say bye chicken. And we can change it for sheep, horse and stuff. But clear lag will mean that we actually get to kill all the entities and we don't need to worry about that stuff. Now we will also be doing like cities, farms, out back areas, stuff like that. Um, we're going to be doing basically the whole world, if we can. Except for the fact that since Minecraft is an infinite world space, we won't be making it round. <laughs> we'll be making it flat. So imagine like the world, like a globe, cuts in such a way that it can be spread out flat. That's what we're going to be doing. Pretty interesting idea, I, I, and I hope it works out. Now, how is this going to work? Because we... It's not like we can start somewhere and just work out from that. Because we'll get bored after a while, and I don't really want to get bored. I mean, we, we, will, we will probably start from somewhere and then work out from there. So, But I've, I've had a bit of a plan how to make this a little less boring. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have three different build sites, I suppose. That's how it would be called. Of course, the first three will have to be close to each other, and we can extend them out as we get, as we work out like the dimensions of the city and dimension, and how far between cities stuff are, and just things like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using doing three different build sites, and I've had a bit of an idea for this. The first build site will be a city one, so like maybe we'll do London or. Um, Tokyo or New York, whatever one we're up, we feel like doing. The second build site will be like kind of town rule side of things, and then third one will be um, country. So like between towns, between cities, stuff like that, highways, things like that. You, you'll get the idea. Of course, the first. First little bit, they will probably be pretty similar areas just because we want to try and get the layout of where we were starting. Um, which brings us to our next point. Where are we going to start? Well, I've put a lot of thought into this. We're obviously going to be using Google Maps or something similar, maybe 3D Google Google List. I don't know if that's still around. I haven't... I've. I've been doing a bunch of work on Google Maps to get all the screenshots and stuff we're going to need. And I've thought we might start in a place that's well known to most people, in fact to a lot of people. And in fact something happened there not just a few couple of, couple of days, so I kind of want to make this a sort of tribute to it. I'm talking about Manhattan. I'm not going to go into all the details of what happened, I'm not going to say it all, and you guys probably have heard it on the news. Um, Basically, I want to start there as kind of like a tribute sort of thing to the people there. So that's the idea. Um, we're going to have music in the background, of course, to fill in time lapse. It's going to be really boring if all you, if all you hear is super, super fast type, like placing of blocks and mobs moving, and just it's, it's going to be really boring if I do that. But essentially it's going to be a time lapse. We're going to be doing something close to like 10 hours equals 1 hour, so like times 10 speed. I'm still working that side of things out. But I want things to happen kind of quickly for you guys. Um, I don't want it to be a boring. Each episode will probably be 10, 20 minutes long, depending on if I can work things out that way. Again, got stuff to work out. Um, but yeah, guys, that is the plan. This is going to be a long, long project, and I know that it's going to get boring in parts, but I'm thinking maybe every now and then we might do like a walkthrough of all the places we've done. We're not going to do the inside of buildings, don't worry. We're not going to do that. So like, it, places where you would see inside, we're just going to have like black glass or like something just to fill it in to make, say, this is the shop front, but you don't get to see inside of it. Something like that. 
Um, yeah, that's the plan for this series. I am kind of looking forward to this, but I also know how long it's going to take if we want this to happen. And we have a ran two random feathers and a chicken floating, which I should have noticed before now. I don't know. That's probably a sign to say that we should finish up, because I'm running out of things to talk about anyway. So guys, please let me know what you guys think of this. This is... This is going to be a big project, and I'm not sure anyone else has done this. I know people have done parts of the world, like there was one done of England, but I don't think they did any cities or something like that. There was like a geological thing. They decided to like build everything from ground down, and then I could place blocks with other blocks and stuff. It's, it's crazy how they did that. Um... But yeah, that's the plan. We, we also aren't going to do anything below ground. It's all going to be superficial stuff. Um, I should probably just point that out. But you guys, if you have any comments or suggestions or ideas to make my life easier, if it's a plugin, if it's like anything, um, please go ahead and tell me in the description box below. I'm not going to do any schematics or anything. So if you like, I can make his life easier by making an Eiffel Tower and then get him to be important. We're not going to do that. I want this to be a build that I do myself. Might get other people on to help out. I'm not sure how that will work. And I just want to start this on my own, to be honest. Um, but you guys, so yeah, comment and suggest ideas if you have any. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, of course, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you have if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below. I'm. Well, how many shall we say? Let's see if we can get five five likes. I want you to hit the five. Hit the like button. Let's see if we can get five likes. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. We're gonna start the next video with the start of the time lapse, and hopefully, it's gonna be a good series. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, guys, have a good week or day or whatever it is. And goodbye. Uh, are we ending now? Back to you at the studio? Yeah? Okay, bye.